If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. The link's in the description. Thank you. Aren't the most seaworthy vessels in terms of sailing ability, but they can deflect a lot of damage. Nice! That was a big juicy one. That torpedo looks good. Yep. Our ship should be able to sustain the damage a lot better. As you can see, the Innsbruck is not having a good time of it. They are flooding heavily. Be functional, but one of these is definitely going to get in now. Let's see if we can get a tight turn in here. Oh, Innsbruck. That's got to be it now, is that? Louisville. Avoidance is on, but they're not going to get there. It may be a dud, but I doubt it. That's a good hit. Dud! No way! Wow! Okay. Howdy doody, everybody. Welcome back to Moistchi Gaming. As you can see, we're about to enter battle. This is a border patrol, apparently. As we enter hostile waters, a considerable enemy fleet blocks our path. Now, we have a lot of our Cincinnati class ships here. And if you watched the previous episode or two, you would have seen one on one we smashed them. Although it could have gone either way, to be completely honest. But still, let's go in there. There's also a torpedo boat we need to watch out for. Let's have a dabble. The armoured cruisers of theirs aren't very sophisticated. They are the old, obsolete gunship design. But we are operating light cruisers. Minimal torpedo armaments on these things. We have our fleet here. Actually going to... Oh, do I split them up or do I just have them all in a nice juicy line? I think I'm going to do that for now. Where did they come from? Northeast? That way, so we'll start marching on. We're going to put them all on save ammunition because they're going to need lots of it. And I don't want them shooting unless they can have an actual shot. I do have a refit available for these, but these aren't the ones that are refitted. So we'll just have to carry on and see how we go on. Later on, we should be able to get hold of the new Washington refit as well. They have the nice 12 inch gun on there. We have some. Dreadnoughts being built as well, although they're a little bit down the line. But the Washingtons are going to need a big refit, and I just need to get it round all of them. Honestly, it will make such a difference. In fact, every ship class that I've got is now going for a refit, which is marvellous. Looks like we've spotted the enemy. What is that? That is one of their gunships. And we're going to have a double. Uh, we'll try and go broadside. Simply because... Oh, there's the torpedo bot. Right, we'll go this way. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Closer inspection of the enemy. There's their torpedo boat. There is a armoured cruiser. Right, so it looks like they've got three screening ships. What we're going to do is try and skirt around them. We'll try and go this way, try and destroy that torpedo boat. That's for a start because they are a nuisance. Everybody's targeting that now on the round pretty much, so if we can just manage to turn, we should actually be able to shoot the thing. We are now already being shot at, but I'm not too concerned. Their armaments aren't fantastic, just like ours, which is fine. We really really need to turn. Come on, Youngstown, we need to turn. These ship hulls aren't the most seaworthy vessels in terms of sailing ability, but they can deflect a lot of damage. They're very well shaped for that. The torpedo boat seems to be sailing away a little bit, so we'll just go a little bit on a fully angle, try to get the whole fleet in on this. 
I can't get too close until that is taken care of. Now we're engaging that now. Do I do a hard left here? That is a good question. But do a left to go into them? That might be quite funky. And we have torpedoes, but so do they. Theirs are on the front and aft. Ours are only on the front. But we could potentially line ourselves up quite nicely. We go straight in and hopefully get some nice juicy torpedo runs in. We'll see what we can do. We'll start turning the fleet. They're all going to be aiming at that for a little while, but that's fine. My main concern is that torpedo boat, to be completely honest. A lot of these hits we can deflect off quite nicely. If we come in at that kind of an angle, we can get quite close and really rip them apart. We've got lots of 3-inch guns, which are good for taking out torpedoes and causing fires on these things. Speeding things up slightly. As you can see, our ship really does slow down on the turn. But we are coming in. We might be able to get a nice torpedo runoff here. Still firing at that thing. It might be worth having a quick dabble. Torpedo is in the water. Let's keep turning. Nice. Is that going to be a hit? It looks like it might. Oh, that would be great stuff if it is. I just want to keep going left now. Still squirting at that, but soon enough we're going to be hitting this. That torpedo is going to hit. Nice! That was a big, juicy one. We've got a lot of these ships now just sat here. We need to start squirting at them. You never know, we might get another torp off. A lot of these... Oh, we are at risk, actually, of being torped ourselves. Let's try and turn this fleet a little bit more. Still all trying to shoot that, which is a little bit silly, not going to lie, but I'm just going to leave them to it. And what even is the chance of hitting that? Oh, 10% chance, maybe. Interesting. Still, we'll start shooting at them more. Our torpedoes damage the engines on this ship, which is marvellous. Might even start getting them to try and shoot that. It does look like we've got away with the torpedo danger. I kind of want them to go straight ahead for a little while. Otherwise, we're not really going to get anywhere. We can have everything. And that torpedo boat is still a threat. This one's still trying to go for it. What I might do is turn some of these into the enemy fleet to get some more torpedoes off. So if we split off one of these, a little rock detach and go that way we might be able to get one off on the Innsbruck the Gotzis is doing okay after that torpedo run these haven't been upgraded with the new ones They're still quite fixated on that torpedo boat I'm not surprised that is the bigger threat these guns here are dangerous but they're not as dangerous as what you might think Oh, here we go. Fires. This is where we're going to win this. More fires. Can we get a torp off? That is going to be the question. We'll aim our... Try and aim our torpedo to go and hit there. If that one fails, we'll go for the other one. Is it in the water? Oh, it is. Nice. Now you do a hard left and come back into the formation. The Louisville. Now what I'm going to do is stick you back in there. And the Louisville. I'm going to set you off. That torpedo looks good. I'm actually going to set the fleet on. Of torpedo avoidance. And we've got another torpedo hit in the engine room. Nice. This ain't going good for the enemy. They're going to collide if they're not careful. Don't make me take manual control of you. Oh, nice! That just got smashed to pieces. The torpedo boat has been crippled. Wow, that was a good, good, good turn of events. Now all our ships are going to start. What are you doing? Do not collide with that ship. 
Now the Louisville, oh, I can do it. Need to turn this fleet around actually and start coming back around this way. There's four of them here. That one's on its own, but we're pretty much pummeling these to death. We are ramming the enemy ship. Our ship should be able to sustain the damage a lot better. As you can see, the Innsbruck is not having a good time of it. They are flooding heavily, and the little rock is not doing so bad at all. Nice. That ship is pretty much done. We're going to come back around. Start swinging our way. We can set them all back onto automatic firing. That might have even killed it. Our ship is completely fine. Nice. We're not going to go on ramming missions on all of them, though. We're just going to leave them to it. The Elizabeth is kind of leaving its friends to suffer here. The Innsbruck is not faring too well. They've lost a main battery. The rear one is not looking too pretty. All the engines are pretty much done on this. Little Rock is going to come back and reform into the formation. We're going to get our formation to actually start coming back around this side. Yorktown actually has a torpedo available to it as well, which is quite lovely. The Innsbruck looks like it is going to survive. But it's out the action for the time being. And what I could do is set the Montre over to do a tight turn. And try and get another torpedo run on that thing. That sounds like a jolly good idea, does that? Little Rock is going to slowly but surely get back into the formation. The flooding is well and truly under control. Let's see if we can get this ship in. The main line is going to come back around. We're going to see how we can get on. That ship over there is not having a good time. They're just floating away, leaving their comrades to perish. Innsbruck is still dead in the water. Come on, Montre, turn. They're targeting that ship quite nicely. What I might even do is slow the ships down. Should get an accuracy bonus. We can certainly take the hits. We do need to be careful of the enemy's torpedoes. I do think that they're going to be the biggest threat right now. Innsbruck is on the move again. Looks like they've managed to repair some of the damage. And it does appear that the enemy ships are attempting to retreat. Now another naughty thing I could do is get Little Rock split off from the fleet. They can go and have a dabble at Anz Matt uh, Anz what? And Staten. We'll go for that. They're gonna go and deal with that. While we have the main fleet down here having a dabble. We're hoping to get a torpedo run off on the Innsbruck, hopefully we can. Main fleet is going to come back around this way. They're going to shoot that from that angle as well. Hopefully we can finish off these. This is proving quite nice so far. We've not really taken any hits. Nothing significant anyway. Just the odd bits of partial pens which aren't going to do anything, which is wonderful for me. Come on, Montre, turn. They're not the best at this. Now this ship, we're going to go full speed and go for that one. We should be able to catch up. Max speed on these is 17.6 and now it's going to go around 20. It should eventually catch up. Now here we go, we're looking like a potential torp run here. The Gotzis is very slow as well. So one of these is going to get torpedoed. Hopefully not us. Main fleet's coming back in. Might even... Oh, I can't do the smoke just yet. But one of them is going to go down in a minute. Innsbruck is crippled. The guns on the guts are still very functional, but one of these is definitely going to get in now. Let's see if we can get a tight turn in here. Now that is potentially landing up for a torpedo run, so we actually need to be a little bit careful. Did I just hear a torpedo? No, I did it. We're all good. We're all good. Little Rock is still sailing down and they're going to have a gander at trying to take that out. One of them's going to get it. 
There we go. Excellent. Now we can get this ship back into the main formation. They'll work their way around. Oh, Innsbruck. That's got to be it now, is that? Big torpedo hit. The front is flooding heavily now. Ah, oh, yeah, that's going. Hopefully we don't get torpedoed ourselves. Look at them. Blocking all the shots, just deflecting them all. Innsbruck is still floating. I think we need one more compartment. And then we'll be good. Yorktown could potentially get a torpedo run on Elizabeth. They have a torpedo ready to go. This ship looks like it's about to try and ram something. But the Innsbruck is still floating. That is insane. Oh, we've got the Klotzberg going over to have a gander at this one now. Try and get a torpedo run on this. We'll see what happens. But still, we're looking very good. Innsbruck is pretty much done. Got is damaged, but still floating. Can we get a torpedo run on this? The Lonely Fire, they're pretty sure it's going to be a hit. These things just can't shoot for anything. Now, we took a little bit of damage, but nothing significant. More in the rear, where the armour is weaker. No torpedo has come out of this Yorktown. We are actually at risk of being torpedoed ourselves, but because we're so close, we might be okay. They're ignoring these brook at the moment, so it's no longer a threat, really, which is fine. Oh, we actually took a hit. What was that from? Hard to say. Oh, that torpedo run did happen. I forgot all about that for a second. I'll do a hard turn. Wow, that ship is not having a good day. Still has its main guns, but below deck, everything is burning. Let's see what happens with that. I haven't seen any more torpedoes, so we're all good. We'll get the York Town, uh, Youngstown to have a wriggle. They haven't fired any of their torpedoes, which is definitely interesting. Montre is scarping to the back. Oh, nice torpedo detonation. That's what we like to see. This ship is not going to be very happy for very long. We're bullying these at this rate now. Quick gander up here. Yeah, we're not doing so bad. Lots of fire still on the Amsletten. Oh, there's a torpedo somewhere. Oh, they're going to hit Louisville. Avoidance is on, but they're not going to get there. It may be a dud, but I doubt it. That's a good hit. Dud! No way! Wow! Okay. <laughs> Don't know what it is, but torpedoes apparently like me. Innsbruck is pretty much dead. We have the Elizabeth trying to get away a little bit now. They're not faring too well. Got to be a screenshot here that we can use. Now, many of these are partial pens, but you've got to remember the guns on these things were not designed take on ships with a medium armor complement and we're supposed to take on other light cruisers but still they're doing a good enough job just from sheer numbers of guns I think it does appear that they're trying to go for the Montre quite a bit oh no I see a torpedo got a hit we didn't see it in time oh, that's got a hit yeah, that was a nasty one, right in the engine room. But we'll be alright. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. It'll keep that one occupied anyway. Flooding shouldn't be too bad. But the damaged engine will be a bit of a problem. We're going to keep circling around these ships. They're not faring too well. 
This one certainly isn't. The Innsbruck just needs to go down. It's clinging on for dear life. How are we looking over here? Little Rock is doing okay. The engines are crippled though, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully they'll manage to fix them. But the arms letting will get away at that speed. Our ship is not in immediate danger though, so we're okay. Still clinging on, the Innsbruck. Montrey has got a torpedo potentially lined up. That'll certainly finish it off. Whether it fires it or not is questionable, but we'll soon find out. It is gearing up for it. Oh, we're turning off now. We'll see. We'll see. We are working our way around the Yorktown. Oh, flooding. Good hits. Yorktown has a torpedo available. We could potentially try. Oh, it went down. Nice. Innsbruck is done. See if we can get a torpedo run on this thing, the Elizabeth. The main towers on this thing have been absolutely hammered, so accuracy is just going to be abysmal. Engines are damaged on the gold tits. The Klosterneuburg is the other one that's not really been touched. The Armsletten is okay, but it's not fantastic. Little Rock is okay. I'm just hoping that they can actually repair the damage to the engines. Montre is currently the main target for the enemy fleet. They all look like they're trying to scatter. I think our main target is going to be Elizabeth. Get that sinking. This one. Oh, that was a good hit. This one over here is going to be hopefully a close second. If we can sail in between the two, we might be able to use both broadsides at the same time. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Main guns are damaged, but not destroyed. Many of the lighter guns have been destroyed. The torpedoes are gone. It's not having a good day. This one, I believe, is still fully functional, pretty much. Mostly, nothing significantly damaged. Little Rock hasn't repaired its engines. I hope it does. Let's see if we can just wriggle our way around here. Oh, this Elizabeth surrenders due to high casualties. Nice. Looks like this one's going to be getting it in a minute, though. Guns are turning. Flooding, that's what we like to see. A little bit of floodage. Engine's still not repaired on the little rock. Oh, it's flooded out, that'll be why they can't get access to it, so it's going to be at a crawl for a while. Now we need to start moving the main fleet over here. Hoping we can cause a bit of damage to this with the pass by of the fleet. The little rock is going to struggle to keep up with it. No ammunition in the torpedo. Speed is the biggest issue. Yeah, it's going to have a pretty good hammering by the drive-by, at least. Ooh, torpedo detonation. That won't be doing them any good. Overpen straight through. It's been peppered to death. Fires are building. Just need to get our fleet back around this way, really. There's a lot of concentrated fire going on the Armstetten now. More flooding, nice. Where was that? Can't quite tell, though. This is all that they have now, these three ships. Oh, there's a fourth one. Where's the fourth? Is that the one that's sinking? Oh, it is the one that's sinking. That's fine. Over pen. Another compartment has been hit, mainly at the front. That's going to slow it down. This one gets away. I wouldn't be too bothered. I would like it to go down, though, while it is this damaged. Little rock is proving to be quite a little rock. 
Oh, that flooding is actually getting a bit more serious on the Armstetten there. Hopefully, it might go to the engine block. We'll see. We've got our ships over here attempting to get close to the enemy ships, which have, for some reason, decided stopping is the best form of defence. In that case, we're going to try and go for a torpedo run. Um, Stetton is going to survive that. But it ain't going to be too pretty. Flooding. Oh, okay. Is that at the front or the rear? It's hard to say. I think that's the rear. It's going to give them a bit more to think about. It's not going anywhere anytime soon anyway. I don't think Little Rock will catch up to it. What I might do is send the Montre over. And you can then deal with that. While you just follow. There we go. You just follow that ship. And the Montrey tries and takes that one out. It's not much left of it. Flooding is ripping. Don't crash into it. Don't crash into it. That's not ramming. It's not touching. It's only a little splitter. We're all right. No flooding inside. Excellent. Don't know if that's going to go down now, though. Oh, he's stopped crashing. There we go. Now then. The enemy ships are underway again. I'm hoping to get a tight turn in here. If possible. You need to go full speed and catch up with that thing. You should be able to catch it. There's that much flooding in it and structural damage. It's not going to be a good sailor anymore. Now here we go. We're looking not too shabby. Oh, they launched a torpedo. I didn't think they were going to do. It's that. Oh, that's missed, mate. That has missed. Hugely. What were you thinking? It's right in front of you. Engines are damaged as well now. We're still going to be careful. They have torpedoes. And we know we can take one quite happily. How are we getting on over here? Montre? You thinking about it? They're just going to close in. Do you have torpedoes? Oh, you do have a torpedo. Oh, penetration. Little rock isn't looking too pretty, but it's doing fine. Oh, now they've launched a torpedo. It's a bad angle, though. And it's... Oh, no. Which one are you going for? Oh, that might hit the original Cincinnati-class ship. Turn. Oh, nice. It went up. Excellent. That's what we like. Now, if we can get broadside to this thing, that's going to cause mayhem. We do seem to be doing. And then if I can weave in between them, that might be good. Might be an opportunity to, for the Cincinnati to get some other torpedo shots off. That would be good. This close range, we are going to be causing a lot of fires and everything else. As long as they hit the thing, which they should do. They're not bad crew. Montre, how are you getting on? You need to do a sharper turn than that, buddy. Little Rock is being a rock really slow. You look like you've had a bad day, to be completely honest. You're all right. You're all right. I think some of the main guns on this are pretty much done. Oh, they're damaged. They're not destroyed, but they are certainly damaged. How are we getting on up here? Probably heard a torpedo splash then. Maybe not. No, they just they're not. They can't pen it on the refit models. They do have a bigger gun, better armament and things. They should be able to destroy stuff like this relatively easily. But this thing just took another flooding hit, which is nice. But we're not going to get that torpedo run in. But we are going to be smashing it to pieces. Little Rock is still firing at it also. Over here, we are now weaving. It may... <laughs> oh, I didn't think this through. They might end up colliding. Go back the other way. 
Ah, nice. The Amstetten has determined to surrender. Because it's... Rue has been murdered. Now, how are we looking back over here? Doing all right. We're all going to be squirting at them. It's just not really doing enough damage. We're, we're too close, really, to be doing it properly. But we can at least try to get the Montre in that formation. We'll send them just to follow. The little rock is slow, they're going to follow Montre. It will be behind, but it is what it is. Getting into a better position. Shells are now starting to get in. The mostly partial pens. Is the small caliber. But fires will begin to grow. And it's already weakened anyway, to be completely honest. More flooding on the Galt says, or whatever it's called. Not too sure what caused it. Probably with the six inches. Still, that is going to be slowing it down further. The engines are now even worse shape than what they were before. This compartment slowly flood. Penetration, nice. If we had more of them, that would be fantastic. A lot of the crew has gone down 37%. But these are probably going to surrender if it doesn't sink anyway. There's more hits. 39.2% crew left. Nice, right, not having a good day. Crew are being hammered. Nice. Main tower and everything. I think this ship is now pretty much out of action. Make sure it goes down or at least surrenders quickly. Still have this ship to contend with. Just need to really get going with it. What I am going to do, I'm going to have the Louisville stick around the Gotsis and really cause some pain. I'm going to slow the ship right down to maybe 10 knots and just keep smashing it while these two steam forward and take out that one got some damage to do on that yet but on this one it won't be long the crew is going to surrender soon they must do 42 nearly half of them are dead the mantra is coming in nice there we go that's one more ship down got this thing now we just had a torpedo detonation looks like the flooding is taking hold the crew cannot possibly sustain that flooding there's only a few of them left this is the last ship remaining 43 percent dead and there we go nice we didn't lose a single ship we took some damage but that was really good look at that nice ship stats for anyone who's interested Well, that's going to hurt the fleet numbers, hasn't it? Definitely. We've saved a few crew. Lovely. Now then, their fleet is down. Oh, they've got a few bits scattered all over the place now. What is going on? Hmm. we got our fleet here, which has the Washingtons in, which are upgraded. I need to try and intercept the enemy battleships and get them sunk. So it looks like they're going to go down here, so we're going to do the same. Something like that. These ships are the ones... Oh, what are these? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, these are the un -befitted ones. And I found the main fleet over there. Right, so we're going to actually get these refit. Nice tech, 12,000 ton heavy cruiser, that's wonderful. Not that we build these yet anyway. Now this is interesting, Brazil would like to order one of the North Carolina class ships. These are our new ones which we haven't even got any yet, we're building two but that's about it. They'll pay a lot of money and are providing a total profit of 45%, ah oh, yes. One thing that I've just realised is that we're actually an alliance with Russia, which I forgot all about. Wow, they got a lot of ships. That is ridiculous. Nearly a hundred torpedo boats. 
That is re oh wow, okay. But yeah, anyway. Uh, because we're best buddy buddy with them, we can actually send our fleet up here and potentially start prodding some of Japan. That would be interesting. But if we were to make our fleet from this way up here, we can start getting them moving out. And we've got a convoy raid going on here. Six transports and three armoured cruisers versus two of our Cincinnati class and an Augusta class from Greece. Then down here there's a battle. More of our Cincinnati class which are not going to be able to penetrate the armour on that, that is for sure. But we'll have a dabble anyway. I'll leave these two battles for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed viewing. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I shall hopefully see you in the Discord. Thank you very much. Bye!